This question is testing for two major concepts, subject verb agreement and comparisons. You see, when subject verb gets tested with any other concept, it is best to apply subject verb agreement first because the subject and the verb are two basic aspects of any sentence's construction. So where exactly can we apply subject verb agreement? Well, when you take a vertical scan through the answer choices, in three choices, there is a difference between makes and make. So we can utilize that and we just need to check what is making the electricity more expensive and logically we can understand that it is the fixed cost. So if we say fixed cost, this is a plural subject but makes ending with s is a singular verb. So this is a subject verb disagreement. A goes off, C goes off. Now as I said before, the other concept that we can apply here is the concept of comparisons because there are some obvious comparison triggers in the rest of the answer choices. So when you see words like more than, better than, greater than, as much as, equal to, or same as, we know that we can deal with the concept of comparisons. And when we are playing with comparisons, it's always important to keep in mind the primary rule that we can only compare logical comparables. So for example, if I say, China's population is greater than India, this would be a big mistake because I'm comparing the population to a country itself. So this would be perfectly conveyed if I said China's population is greater than India's population because now we know what is clearly being compared. And another interesting thing about the concept of comparisons is that when you're comparing entities, they generally follow the rules of parallelism as well. So we can check for all these things when we work with comparisons. So when we look at the differences among the rest of the answer choices, one thing that becomes obvious here is the difference between B and E. B reads the cost of running these plants is about the same as four other plants. Whereas E just says the cost of running these plants is about the same as other types of plants. So this preposition for is being completely left out. So what exactly would that mean? See, if I say the cost is about the same as for other, this implies that it says the cost for. So why exactly is leaving out this word okay? Well, this is called the concept of ellipsis, which I have clearly explained in question 836 from the 2020 official guide. So you can check that out to get a very clear understanding of what the concept of ellipsis is when making a comparison. I'll throw a link to this question in the description below. So simply put, if I rephrase this sentence as China's population is greater than India's, it would still make logical sense. I don't have to say the word population again because when I write it as India's, the word population gets implied. So in the same way, when we insert the preposition here, it is implied that it is the cost for the other plants. So the cost of running these plants is about the same as the cost for the other plants, and that makes logical sense. You can hold on to that. But since E drops that preposition for, what is actually being compared here is the cost of running these plants to the other types of plants itself. So the costs being compared to other plants and that is not a logical comparison, E goes off. Now we can pick apart the comparison problem in D as well, but I wanna highlight something that is much easier to catch, the presence of whereas, all right? See, whereas is the exact opposite of as, and as is used for verb comparisons. For example, I can say, John passed with flying colors as did Sam. So here, this as is comparing this action to this action and they indicate the sameness of the actions. So the did is just 
a complete replacement for passed with flying colors. So both of them passed with flying colors. So as I said before, whereas is the opposite of as, and we can use whereas to say John passed with flying colors, whereas Sam failed poorly. Now you see the actions that are being compared is passed and failed. So John passed with flying colors, whereas Sam failed poorly. So this is the right usage of as and whereas, right? To compare actions wherein as will indicate a similarity and whereas will indicate a difference. But if we notice the two clauses that are actually connected with the whereas here, the first clause is saying it costs about the same to run this as for other plans, whereas the electricity they generate is stemming from. Now this would not be logical at all. Because as we just saw in this example, you can compare passed and failed. Whereas here we are comparing it costs about the same to run these plants, whereas the electricity they generate is made more expensive. So this is not a logical comparison at all. You can't compare that it costs about the same to run these plants with the electricity they generate is made more expensive. That is illogical. And that's exactly why the right answer choice is B for Bravo.